Okay, well, without too much further ado, let's get going. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! I have always wondered why Spyro doesn't get turned to stone. If it even is stone. Alright, well, here we go. Our first home world. So, first things first. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get everything in this home world first, and then... After that, we will start getting dragons and whatnot. Actually, to be honest, we could probably get the dragons as we pass by. Wouldn't be too much of a challenge, to be fair. I love we can just, like, barrel around. It's great. Hello. Bye-bye. Boom. Oh, I missed. Where are you going? Thank you. I'll take that. And that gem. So this is a bit of a... This is a bit of a tough jump to make sometimes. There we go. And a skill point. Hey, Trez. What's the story, buddy? Good to see ya. Alright, let's just grab this dragon. Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Uh, yeah, this game is my PS4, yeah. World, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. And we'll just grab this one while we're here. Delvin. Nork, I'll torch you. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. So yeah, Sparks is effectively the gauge of our health. As we take damage, he will change color. For example, now he is blue. Eventually, we will take a hit. Now, Sparks also collects the gems for us. So, if we were to take enough hits that Sparks will no longer be with us, then we'd have to, like, properly walk into the gems. Also, that opens a secret level. Not that it's all that secret, to be fair. Um, for example... Uh, come here, you. So that gem there, if you watch closely, Sparks will actually go get it. But if we don't have Sparks, then we have to actually walk into the gem ourselves. Um, which, you know, isn't 
too bad, but it's much, much, much handier to have sparks collect the gems for you. It's much, it's much easier to not miss a gem. Um, and how do we get sparks out back? We kill some poor critters. All dragons are furries in this game. <laughs> Listen, I don't judge. I don't judge. People, people are into what they're into. Articles. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Yeah, we'll get to it. Don't worry. So this, on the other hand, is Zoe. Actually, I'm not sure if she's called Zoe in this game, but she's called Zoe in the later games, and she's basically just a checkpoint marker. Although she does, um... Not playing. Just an observation. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um... What were they saying? Yeah, Zoe's just a checkpoint marker. In some of the later games, she does also give you, uh... Like, hints and tips. But, not this one. So this is the balloonist who will take us to our next hub world when we're ready to go there. Whoa. Don't know how I didn't take damage there. I looked at something fierce there. Oh, yeah. Like, pff, listen. <laughs> there are people into some weird ass things. Okay. <laughs> no judgments here. <laughs> and I think this is our last dragon. Tomas. Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. All dragons found. Alright. So now, we've just got to collect the last of the gems. Yeah, I hear you. Where are you? There. Come here to me, you. There we go. There we go. He gets some invincibility frames when you hit him, so you have to kind of wait for him to get back on his feet before you can hit him again. Slightly irksome. But not too much of a problem. I think there's only 100 gems in this whole world. But don't quote me on that. Grab those three. Those. And that one. So, in case, um, in case you haven't noticed... Each different color gem is worth different amounts. So it'll pop up. Green is worth two. Red is worth one. I think it's purple is worth five. Uh, gold, I th think, is ten. There's a ten and a twenty-five, but I can't remember which is which. And there we go. Level completement. All right. Then let's go and do... An actual level. Stone Hill. This was, like, always my most remembered um, level, like, from my childhood. Just because I'll, I'll show you as well. But there's a particular point where I realized you could kind of go what I thought was, like, out of bounds. Like, out of the world that you're supposed to be in. And I thought it was super cool. And I always remember that. Oh, and also we can, we can do things on the... <laughs> while we wait for the, the level to load. I love it when games make loading screens interactive. It's great. Right. There's some slightly sneaky gems and dragons in this level as well. Bonk. Bonk. Uh, so, the first of which is down this well. Which you would probably not have thought of jumping down. No, 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 don't go back up. No, I didn't want to go back up. Whoop. And back down. No. There we go. Gavin. 
catch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> sure. So that uh, little chest down there, uh, that requires a key to unlock, which we will get. It's also a really sneaky place that they've hidden it. So we'll get that dragon in a second. I just want to grab all these. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. Linda. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> All right, what else we got going on? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, this way leads around to the actual exit portal. For the level. Oh, no worries. Oh, blue is fine. Blue is fine. Astor. you've freed all the dragons pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger it'll take you back to the artisan home but first let me tell you a story no thanks see ya <laughs> so where we get the key for the chest at the bottom of the well is down here which is one of the last places you would think to look Here's the key. All right. Now that we've got that, can you? Whoop! No. No. And then we unlock this, and we get lots and lots of gems. There we go. Now, one last area that I need to check out is going to be through here. Right. Grab all the gems down here first. Bonk. Oh, yeah, so you get... Sh Whoa! This dragon not fly? No. This... Oh, ow. This dragon can glide, but not fly. Although, he flies in between levels, so... I sometimes question whether or not he can fly and just chooses not to. Bonk. Okay. Let's take this up. And we get our last dragon. Gildas. A giant paintbrush. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Grab gem. Now, so, this is what I meant when I said I thought I was getting out of bounds with this level. You can just fly on up here. And I was like, oh my god, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. This is so cool. But you are actually supposed to be able to go up here. There is plenty of gems and plenty of things up here. Sneakily hidden. anything up to the very top here. I think that's it. Now, we are going to meet a little, well, I wouldn't call him a little friend. He's a little bastard is what he is. But there is a little thing up here that we will need to chase down. I think they're just referred to as egg thieves.
Ah, there he is. So I'm going to run around after him in a second. Just want to get the rest of the gems. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go. Let's go after him. So he runs like pretty damn fast. But we are marginally faster than him. So we can cut corners and catch up to him a little bit. Bam! Oh, nice. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate the uh, the host. So that's one of the eggs. I can't remember exactly how many there is. It might be 10 or 12. Uh, does it tell me here? I don't think it does. No, it just tells me how many I have. That's fine. But now we just need to find the last few gems. Which, to be perfectly honest, could be anywhere up here. Yo, dude, what's the crack? Uh, right, how many am I missing? I'm literally, I'm missing one gem. That's literally all I'm missing. It's either one green gem or two reds, and this level is notorious for being really easy to miss green gems because everything is green. Um... There is a little mechanic that they added in that's actually super nice where you can... Oh, there it is. Where you can make sparks point to the nearest gem. Like that. But I'll only use that if we just simply cannot find the last gem on a level. And that is that one, Finito. So let's go and get out of here. So if memory serves correctly, there's four hub worlds that we have to get through. Each of increasing difficulty, but it's honestly I don't I don't remember any level being super super hard except for one. And that one being treetops. But it's fine, like I, I've played that level enough times to kinda know what I need to do. So this is also one of my favourite levels of all time. Just because I love how cool and creepy the entire level looks. Right, here we go. So even though he flies to the world, he can't fly here. He just glides. But I love, absolutely love this level. To me, it just looks so cool. Okay, and again, we've got a chest that requires a key. So we'll get to that soon enough. Bonk, bonk. Go. And we will grab this dragon. Alban. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. I find that to be very counterintuitive. Like isn't metal like extremely like if you heat metal if you set fire to metal it becomes incredibly dangerous and painful <laughs> he doesn't fly he falls with style <laughs> oh what's that a quote from <laughs> i d i remember it but i don't remember what it's from Oh, hello. Bonk. Toy Story. That's it, yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Okay, so there's the key for this chest. And here's our next dragon. Oswin. Secret? 
Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. <laughs> he acts as if it's like this super cool secret. It's like, yeah, you can just look around if you want. Bonk, bonk. Oh, no. Stop it. There we go. Okay. I will take that. Um, I can't quite remember what it does, but lighting the bonfires at the bottom of these stairs does something. What that something is, though, I'm not sure of. Maybe there's another one somewhere in the level. I'm fairly sure lighting the lighting all those bonfires does something. I'm gonna get these guys first. Though. Actually, we're gonna take a spin around here first. So, in case it hasn't been realized, these are actually ex extra lives. Come on, up you go. Right, let's take these down. Bonk, bonk. Okay, now let's just grab this. This is the last dragon, I think. Darius. Big enemy like this north with the club cannot be charged. But a quick play, that should defeat them. I love that you're telling me this now, at the very end of the level, when I've probably already killed multiples of them. Like, that just seems a little silly to me. Okay, let's go and hit this up here. The key. We're missing one gem. I hate it when levels do this. Because it could literally be anywhere. Oh, didn't mean to do that. One red little gem. Okay, it's not up here. Did I miss one down here, maybe? No. Did we miss one in here? Yes, we did. There we go. Un hundredo completo. Now, just while I'm here... I thought there might have been a skill point associated with these uh, little fires. I guess not. That's his level done anyway. So we can skedaddle. Okay, next up is gonna be Town Square, I think. We don't need to kill these guys again. They only dropped the gems once. Was this... Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. Town Square. So there's a skill point to get in this level where we have to get all of the bulls stuck on their horns. 
I'm gonna try to get all the skill points. It, I, I can do it. Just some of them will take me a good few tries to do because some of them are like, beat this boss without taking a hit, which can be a bit tricky. So let me just, uh, yeah, town square, all bulls stuck. these like that please thank you sometimes sparks just doesn't go and grab gems and it can be quite irritating uh funk funk dragon nils welcome to town square spyro begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls use the right stick to get a good look Okay, so in order to get the bulls, oh fuck, <laughs> I stopped my glide too early. Okay, in order to get the bulls stuck, we have to do that. That's it, that's all. When they run at us, we charge at them. In order to kill them, you do have to actually flame them. And they are stuck indefinitely, they don't get back up. These chests, I always found really weird, because you have to hit them and then jump into the gem that comes out of the top and it always just felt like a really weird thing to have to do take the extra life whoa dragon devlin thanks <laughs> he made up a cake that says thanks spyro it's on the tip of my wig did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Okay. Bonk. There we go. So, those little egg thieves, which there's another one of in this level, when they're nearby but you're not chasing them, they taunt you. Because they're dicks. Nah, 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 nah. It's <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Come on, show me what you got. There we go. And you, and you, and you. So here's our exit portal, but we're not gonna be grabbing that yet. What are you doing? Grab this dragon. Alva. You see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Christ. Look at them all. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> okay, so. Well, this is quite the tricky jump, but we've got to fly around the corner to get up to this dude. Come on. And he goes... Where'd he go? Did he go back up? Damn. I think he went back up. Uh, oh no, this is right right back at the start of the level. Okay. Yeah, he's a, he's a tricky one to catch, to be fair. I'm, whoa! I might just leave him for the time being um, and just chase him after I've gotten everything else in the level. Because I'm liable to miss something if I'm just charging around behind him. Yeah, you see, we ran past these, but Sparks didn't actually pick them up. It's not like he goes anywhere, he just goes around in a circle, like. Those, and these, and that's how we get to the last dragon of the level. Come on, run at me, baby. Bonk. And there's our skill point. So we've got to flame this a couple of times to get that one going. Thor! Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook in the pause menu. Such fourth wall breaks. 
Now, we are missing a couple of gems. And I'm sure they're somewhere nearby. But I'll get to those in a minute. Just want to clear out the rest of these. So that they are no longer in the way. I don't... Whoa. I don't think any of them actually drop anything once they've been uh, charged. But... Just wanted to be... Oh, I missed it. So unless you actually take that jump at the height of your jump... You just won't make that. It's a pretty tough one. Like, considering how early in the game it is. Right. Yeah, I can hear you. Where is he? Oh, he's there. I don't know where he goes from there. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> that felt a little bit cheaty, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. But I don't care enough. Okay, so we're missing three gems. Where could they be? Gotta be somewhere nearby. There's only so many places they can be. They're not down there. Did you just... Oh! I didn't realise they were enemies. Okay, that explains a lot. Because there's one more of those, if I remember right. You. So you'll be the last gem. There we go. Job done. That's... Yep. Yeah. <sighs> I can't remember if Mr. Moneybags makes an appearance in this. I think he's only in 2 and 3. Can't quite remember. Okay. So. I think there's one other level in this home world. Oh yeah, of course there is. Chimp. This one. This one. Oh, Toasty. That's what it was. Is there a skill point for Toasty? No. There's not. Uh, da, 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 da. Although there is... There is a skill point for a pink tulip, which I... vaguely remember where it is. Hmm. Is that over there? Pink tulip? No. It did say pink tulip, didn't it? Hidden pink tulip. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, it was Stone Hill. <laughs> it wasn't this level at all, it was Stone Hill. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I think I remember where it is now. All right, we'll just jump back into this level for a second, just to get this skill point, and then we'll bail back out. the way out. We don't want that one. We want the other one. Is it this one? Yeah, this is what we wanted. We want to go up here. And we want to glide... Whoa. We want to glide back over to here. Okay. 
And I know it's up here somewhere. I know it's up here somewhere. Whoa, whoa, chill out, chill out, Spyro. <laughs> I feel like it's around here somewhere. Oh, and also there is invisible walls that just stop you charging off. Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. That's all we needed. Now we can go and do toasty. Toasty. So this is the boss of this hub world. He's not very difficult. As you would probably expect out of a first... Um, first boss, really. I don't think there's a skill... No, Peacekeeper's the next one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So he sicks his dogs on us. And his dogs are... Like, honestly, avoiding the, avoiding the dogs is harder than the boss. Honestly, like... go. Get him. Okay. Do you think? Like, they jump so fast. <laughs> you don't really get a whole lot of time to react. Okay, I'll take these three. I don't think we've missed anything back here, did we? No. Seems good. And there's nothing... There's nothing over this wall. No. <laughs> oh, he still hit me. This dog next. Then this one. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, 
Lee Shepard's not too hard to deal with. Okay. Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. So there's only just the one dragon in this level. But we do have this wee little side path. Oh, you dick. You absolute dick. I forgot that there was a... Now, you see, normally Sparks would pick that up. But because Sparks is no longer here, we have to do it ourselves. There we go. And you. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to actually get all the gems in a level because Sparks isn't collecting the ones that you kind of just run by. How many is that? 55. Okay. I'm not convinced I'm going to be able to finish this level without taking another hit but we'll try there we go burn him up and then he runs away there we go and then we burn him up again and it turns out he's just a sheep on stilts so we got three to deal with this time this is where i can foresee myself not doing so well oh that was actually pretty good two for the price of one nice now all he does is just run away from me oh no he doesn't didn't realize he actually swung at me doesn't matter anyway I'm very surprised that I managed to do this without taking a hit. And we're missing one singular gem, as per usual. Well, let's go find it. This level is tiny, so it can't be far. It's probably out here somewhere. No, maybe not. And we don't have a Sparks to point us in the direction if we can't find it either. There's... Oh! I just accidentally walked right through it. Didn't even see it. But I'll take it. We go so i think that's pretty much all of the first hope world done so that's one two three four i can't remember if there's four levels in every a world not 100% on it so there's sparks back you can have that one as well and sparks is now back to full health right so let's get this let's get this flight mission done our flight level done all that these flight missions are are just gems but in order to 100% them you gotta do them in the later two games, two and three, there is also a usually a second part of these levels where once you actually get whoa, oh, it's inverted, crap. Once you get everything done, um, you can kind of free fly around the level, and there's whoa, um, there's always a person somewhere who will give you like another thing to do for either an egg or an orb or whatever. Okay, let's go and do this one first and we are going to fly against them so we'll get them faster and there 
we go. Now, let's get these bomber planes. Missed. Didn't miss that one. I'm still trying to get used to the inverted controls. I'm not very used to them. So each thing you get refunds you a slight bit of time. There's one left. Where is he? There. Okay. Let's hit the arches next. And the last thing then will be the uh, the gold chests down there to the left. I think these only give you one... Oh, no, it's three seconds each. Oh, oh, see daisies. I don't think I'm going to make it because I fucked around too much at the start. Okay, that's all of them. And we're not going to have enough time to make it around to that cave. We know what we're doing now. So I think what we do first... I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to come around this way. I thought I might be able to hit that other one before I went into the tunnel, but I couldn't. Hit that one. Oh, I missed it. Okay, do you know what? Let's just reset. We missed way too many things there. Do you know what I might do? I might do the arches first. Might just go and do these arches first. Because it's going to loop me back around to literally here again. close one. One there. One there. And one there. And that will loop us back around to here. Nice. And then last two will be here. And we can fly around to the bombers, hit the bombers, and then come back around for the chests. Hopefully we have enough time to do so. I'm not sure if we will. Because we're cutting it mighty fine here as it is. One left. There we go. Right. Can we make it around? I think this is going to be super tight. Mm, come on. Once we get in, we should be okay. Damn, I missed it. That could be what ruins us. No, I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. There we go. And last one. Boom. Done. There we go. 120. That's all it is. Just 120 gems. Uh, no. Okay. So that's everything we have to do in there. Chum. Chum. Actually, I think it's 200 gems in total. Could be wrong. Yeah, that's everything. Oh, it's 300 gems. Okay. So it's a, it's a decent chunk of gems. So I think that's everything in this world. I think. Can't think of any other levels I might have missed. So let's just go to the balloonist. Head off to the next one. 
Wow! I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. Yes, I have. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. I would like. Are you ready to go? I am. Such a tiny little basket. 